Four different goal scorers for Chelsea, all three points. They were rampant. Everton were dreadful. That was some performance from the Blues. It, it really was. Listen, yeah, you can only beat who's put in front of you. And, and in all honesty, I'm not sure that Chelsea expected this Everton to show up. This was as poor an Everton performance as I've seen for, for quite some time. That being said, um, with a tightening race at, at the top of the table for, for those top four positions, um, Chelsea still kind of being inconsistent. This, this was an incredible performance by, by them. From the time Mount opened the goal scoring, this game was, was all over within 25 minutes and then icing on the cake within a, a, quick, couple of, with a quick couple of goals to start the second half. Any indication going into this game that that was coming from Chelsea? No. And, and, and the issue is, and as much as you know, I say I don't think anybody expected this from, from ever, ever, Everton to be this poor, Chelsea have been up and down themselves more so than almost anybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, and you kind of, whenever we, I talk about Chelsea, I'm trying to paint the big picture and, and what was the expectation pre-season, given the transfer ban and a new manager and young players. And then, despite a disappointing start, I, I kind of go back all, all the way to, to the United game, Chelsea looked fantastic early on. And then, as you as you'd expect with young players, up and down and an inconsistent performance. And then they produce a performance like this. And it is everything that Chelsea promised to be early on in the season. And had they kind of delivered on that promise, mm. fourth place would, would all be soon. And I think we, we'd have, be having a different conversation about them. But this was, this was fantastic from Chelsea. Equally poor from Everton though. Well, it was a huge three points given that Man United got three points. Yeah later in the day. Now, you and I have worked together for nearly 10 years. It's very rare I get a Scottish reference in when I work with you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Shaka? Yes, it is. Wow, Billy Gilmore. I, listen, an incredible performance. You, you saw him um, included in, in, in the FA Cup in, in, in the week and you just wondered if Frank would be calling on him more, more frequently or you wondered if it was going to be a one-off. But quite clearly, I mean, not, not just because he's included from the start today, but because of the performance mm. from the start today. He is go he's going to be integral to, to Frank Lampard and, and Chelsea here on in, between now and the end of the season. It, it was a fantastic performance by a young man, again, and you having to put these things in, into perspective, given Chelsea's own frustrations in the January transfer window, given the fact that Frank wasn't too happy about some of their feelings and was vocal about it, and then young man gets an opportunity and takes it, takes it in any manner that, that he did. Incredible to witness. So he's going to lead Scotland to Euro 2020. Yeah, so you keep telling me. So we're going to qualify now. Um, let, let's get off him for a minute. This is a Chelsea side with loads of injuries. I think they had seven out, including mm -hmm. suspended Jorginho, Tammy Abraham, one of those as well. You're going to get inconsistency though, aren't mm -hmm. you? Uh, with the young players and whatever. Yeah. But he's done a decent job, Lampard. He has. He, uh, and, and again, just kind of going back to the big picture around Chelsea and, and their own expectation. And, and maybe that expectation shifted once they found their, their feet early on this season. But I think when, once you sit down in me and reflect on the season that was, regardless of, of, of what happens here and in, and I know it's a very tight and tightening race for the top four. They're all but out of the Champions League as, as we sit right now. I think Chelsea have to be happy with the way the season panned out. And... Given a little bit, well, I, I'm tempted to say a little bit more support, but let again keep in mind the transfer ban. If if they back Frank Lampard as, as I think he wants to and and needs to be, um, I, I think things are looking very good for Chelsea. Not just in terms of who they can continue to attract to Stamford Bridge, but who they have coming through and and how they can rely on some of those young players. I've not seen a Scott play that well at Stamford Bridge in a Chelsea jersey since Burley. That's. Uh, that's some statement there, Mr. Donaldson. Indeed, Chelsea were outstanding 4 0 against Everton. Don't tell Craig whatever you do. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN.